Here's why China cannot win a trade war or economic war against the United States. Are you ready? One simple question. Name one great Chinese company that produces great products. Name one. If I were to say Sony, sorry, that's Japanese. Panasonic, that's Japanese. Honda, that's Japanese. Tesla, that's American. Ford, that's American. Intel, that's American. China doesn't have a single innovative company that I'm just telling you, find name one. So what, here's what I'm saying. The point is China cannot win an economic war over the long term with the United States. All they have to offer is cheap, inexpensive labor, which is really basically slave labor of their people. Okay, so um, that's why they're able to produce so many cheap, junky products. Okay, they cannot win a, a trade war against us. And that's why it's going to drive us to full-scale nuclear war is when they realize that they cannot beat us and that they don't have, because they worship the dragon, they don't, they don't have the creativity or the innovation that God gives. Even, even thermonuclear devices would not have ever been developed except for the innovation from a Jewish man named Einstein. If it wasn't for him, and that comes from God. Okay, so, and then all other nations have copied that technology. But here's the thing. China cannot win over the long term. When they realize that they will not win and cannot win, that's what's going to press us to full-scale war. And the Lord showed me a couple of months ago, actually, that Russia was ready to go on full-scale war. And they were holding back because China said no. And so when China finally gets to that point, and the Bible says in Revelation chapter 12... That the enormous red dragon with seven heads and ten horns. Now the dragon generally represents the devil. But whenever you see seven heads and ten horns in context, that is the government and regime of the Antichrist. And when it says the dragon, one of the heads of the seven heads of ten horns, the bear is another one of the heads. That's why in Revelation chapter 13 we see the bear, the dragon, and the leopard um, rising out of the sea and it has seven heads and ten horns, that's the government and regime of the Antichrist, is Russia, China, um, uh, North Korea, Iran, Turkey, those are five of the seven nations. Or it might be Islam in general is one of the seven nations. It's hard to know at this point. But here's the thing. World War III is going to happen. I don't know when, but... Um, we see the beginnings of it. We've seen nuclear alerts. We've seen all sorts of nuclear tests. A lot of the nuclear testing is done. That's kind of scary when, when you realize they've tested all their nukes and they're ready to go. <laughs> anyway, the point is get, get your heart right with God and, and stay ready at all times.